Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 8, verses 9 and 10 only. Uh, Jesus is starting in with some parables here, and so he's given one, and now he gives this interesting line right here. Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? And he said, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Okay, so we should take a minute with this. Uh, this seems contradictory to the main purpose, right? I mean, God wants people to understand. Jesus gives a teaching so that it can be understood. And yet they ask him, okay, to explain this parable that we, we just you just gave us. We talked about it yesterday morning. Uh, to you it's been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. So God's going to explain it to them much more directly, much more fully. Because why? Well, there's a difference between the common hearer and, and Jesus' actual disciples. That Jesus' actual disciples have, have seen him in action. They have experienced his work in their heart. They are transformed people. They know that he's God. They know that his word is effective. They, they are following him. They accept him as the Messiah, see? So these people are on the team, and they don't have ulterior things going on. Eh, there's always Judas back there, but mostly. So to they, them, they're going to get it straight out. But now what about this last business? This is the part that really troubles some people. So that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand. Well, a lot of people are going to hear God's truth, and they're, they, but they're not on the team. They are not interested in God's truth. They're only inter interested in, in the world as they would perceive it. And so their business is all about spinning, twisting, bending, uh, taking what Jesus said and using it for their own mercenary purposes, or their own evil or contrary to God's kingdom purposes. And so Jesus gives some of his truth is given uh, so that they, they you know, they'll, they'll see it, see him give it, they'll hear him give it, but they're not going to understand it because they are refusing the Holy Spirit, keeping him out. And when they keep him out, uh, he is not going to come with his Holy Spirit and give them the full insight. So they're going to misapprehend and misunderstand his word, not because God wants them to misunderstand and misapprehend it, but because they themselves are choosing to meet that word in a twisted way. They're choosing to meet God's word with resistance and uh, to meet God's word in terms of what can I get out of this for me. And so when that is the way you approach God's word, it's going to come to you. It's not going to work out for you. Hearing, you will not understand, see? So we need to be totally submitted to God, totally surrendered to him. And then when he gives truth, we will be able to receive, we'll be able to benefit and grow and come in the way that Jesus has for us. Does that make sense? So let's make sure that we are able to hear, that we're able to see, and uh, that God doesn't have to give his, his word because we are unsafe. He doesn't have to uh, hold it back from us in any way. May we be open to the moving and the work of the Holy Spirit to understand the word of the living God. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, it's very gracious that you would come and give us insight and truth. We haven't earned it. We haven't uh, merited it, but you're just giving it to us. And yet many times we, our response is hostile. Our response is, okay, well, I'll receive God's word as long as I can turn it to my own advantage. And so in that case, Lord, we fully understand you would cause us to see and not see, hear and not understand. Lord, help us to be receptive hearers. Help us to be transformed by your word. May your word not return empty, but may we be evidence of its power to change lives and make bad people into people who follow Jesus. Bless and help us, Lord. We are bad people. We look, however, for transformation through you and the hope of eternal life and virtue working in our lives and being a good piece of your universe. So change us and help us. We thank you for hearing our prayer Thank you for all these gifts that we receive through Jesus. Amen. Friend, may you receive, may I receive the gifts that Jesus, Jesus has gifts for us today. And let's get on with it and out into the world with the gifts of God. God bless you.